Hi everyone, in this video tutorial, we will learn how to simulate impact test using rigid art or rigid impactor to aluminum plate. We will go through all necessary steps to create our job and run successfully. We will use also Johnson Cook parameters and Johnson Cook material model to simulate the failure and plasticity model to see the failure and damage of our material let's get started let first start with creating of our part first part is the target plate and the second is the impactor or projectile rigid aluminum plate pd deformable solid extrusion click continue and create our plate geometry click ok with thicknesses of our plate 0.2 millimeter okay now we have our plate let's create partitions in our plate by sketch Create the first one. Also, the in the center, when we need to refine our mesh, we have these two sketches and make partitions of our cell using of our part using these two sketches. Let's select edges, click tone direction of cutting or partition okay create partitions now we have the first one the second one is select the cell click on select edges okay select direction okay create partition now we have the right partitions in our in our aluminum plate Let's create a rigid target. Rigid impactor. Straight rigid solid extrusion. Continue. With radius equal to 0 0.006. That means 6 millimeter in the radius and 25 millimeter in the length of our projectile now let's go to property and import our material from library we have aluminum material imported from library edit and as you can see in our material parameters add material property we have density elastic property young modulus and portions ratio also we have plastic parameters with johnson coke hardening model and rate dependent with johnson cook also hardening model and also we have johnson cook damage of our material with many parameters and also damage evolution let's edit this value okay okay now let's create section material Solid homogeneous continue and click OK. Go to aluminum plate, assign section to our plate. OK. Let's return to part module and go to rigid impactor and create reference point in our impactor, rigid uh, reference point and convert to hollow part. 
because for rigid part you need to change the from solid to shell element to shell part we have shell element with in this part of rigid impactor let's go to assembly and create instance apply okay translate instance let's we need to to translate in the middle let's create middle point between these two points for example we have middle point and now translate and factor to this middle point click ok now let's go to step and create dynamic explicit step continue with time period equal to five e power minus five second click ok and let's go find output and edit and select the status value of to get the damage and failure of plasticity models okay now let's go to interaction and create interaction property in our model in our assembly continue we have normal behavior with hard contact in the pressure of closure click ok now let's go to create interaction in the initial step general contact in the explicit analysis continue select all with self with the property of contact created okay now let's go to load and create on caster boundary condition in the outer side of our part target on caster okay and create and limit the displacement in all direction of our projectile just the translation in the z direction with u3 okay and now let's create and set the, the initial velocity of our impactor continue select reference point okay and let's add initial velocity in the three direction three directions okay now let's go to mesh mesh module and mesh our parts apply okay yes element type explicit okay now let's go to aluminum plate and mesh our plate we need to minimize the size of mesh in this section in this cell by number for example let's add 20 by okay and apply yes We have this size of mesh let's add more size decrease the size of mesh in this part add more number of elements delete previous mesh okay mesh yes now i think we have finer mesh in the in this zone 
let's go to assembly and i think we have a grid mesh of our parts of our model before we go to the job let's go to property module rigid impactor and let's add impactor features engineering feature let's add our, our mass or width of our our impactor we need to add the mass create inertia one point mass inertia click continue select reference point select point to assign point mass inertia click done and we need to add the mass of our part in the kilogram this is our mass of our part click ok now let's go to the job before we go to the job let's go to mesh and go to aluminum plate let's we forget to set the type element select click on explicit analysis reduce the integration let's select also element deletion set to yes and also distortion control select also yes click ok now let's go to the job and create job rigid impact as a name continue click ok check the model first we have completed job let's go to the result and let's plot animation height and necessary edges in our model and th this is our result of rigid impact in aluminum plate using abacus let's go to plot some results of energy used and energy of this impact test odb history output continue and select which energy you need to plot the internal energy for example kinetic energy also plastic dissipation energy strain energy and also the total energy of the wall model now let's go to strain energy for example or kinetic energy let's go to create new viewport link to viewport the maximum energy of impact and the energy decreased to zero to 35 about 35 in the maximum time of maximum time period you can get any of let's go to plot for example reaction force continue let's select unique nodal first unique nodal reaction force for example in the direction of impact direction 3 element set select this reference point this the position plot we have zero in the reaction force 
we can't get the reaction force in this point until now i hope you enjoyed with this video don't forget to subscribe in my youtube channel and like this video see you